Have you ever wondered why your plants die so fast? Have you ever felt guilty about it? Do you want to change it? Then don't worry. Here is something special for you. So here is a help for you. It's Kiomi 4-in-1. It is with four sensors. One for light, one for temperature, one for uh, humidity and one for fertility of the soil. So here is how it looks. As you can see, I already have used it. Looks like this. A little bit used because I use it for my plant. I wanted to test it. I tested it for 28 days. So far, it's working really nice. At least I hope so. Plant still alive. First thing what you have to do, you have to put in your battery. Open it by just like that. So maybe there's also battery already inside so you don't have to open it just all you have to do is you have to just take out this plastic piece here and here's the battery after then just close it and it's ready to go if you think it's enough with just this then uh, go to your app store and look for this one it's flower care for iOS I don't know if it's out or not but for Android it's called flower care or something like that so after you have found this application, go for your plant. I'm using this for my test subject. And just stick it, the device, inside. So it actually also is inside where you can see the sun or something like that. In my case, I will just stick it here. You can see, I stick it like that. So this is how it looks in the plant. Next thing that you have to do, just take it aside. See, there is still its inside. Let's go to application. So guys, after you have put your sensor into your pot, go for the application. So this is how the application looks. First thing what you have to do, turn on your Bluetooth. You can see it will find the flower care. Just connect it and make it a safe connection. It will be okay. Uh, next thing, login. I use Facebook, no problem for it. Since it's just this device. If you can start and connect this uh, application to your device, try to log out, log in, try to check if your Bluetooth connection is alright. Just keep trying, it will work. Sometimes it has some problems, but more or less it will work fine. After you've done this, just go for your device and try to scan it. We will try to look for around surrounding devices. As you can see, here is my device. And right now it's it couldn't find it. As you could see, it didn't connect, so what I'll do. One thing you can log out, log in, but the uh, other part is if you just go to your Bluetooth, turn it off, wait for a bit, turn it on, then just go to your flower care days. Um, try again if it's. If it takes so long it's not connecting, so just go to your settings, go to Bluetooth, turn it off, turn it on, go to the, your flower here, unpair, so if I push the pair button, it will start to blink, and then it's paired to Maybe it will work right now. Let's go back to the application. When it's manually appeared, if it's already tried, it will already try this out. So next, next thing, next. As you can see, it's scanning, connecting, it's okay. Binding the device and it's okay. Now you can push the add plan. Here are already my plans. I've been using this for my chrysanthemum, but here you can actually I do like this go here and here is a huge library where you can find my, a lot of these plants. But here is the one thing, these all are in Latin, so just go for Google, search for the plant what you are looking for, and write uh, how it's in Latin, and then you can find it here. For example, if I put the orange. I 
I'm not sure if you'll find it. Mock orange. Not sure what it is. Here's some uh, description of it. Let's try to play some time. Okay, start. You can find a lot of these names. So just look for the right one, which is for you. For me, hope you could see it because I'm maybe out of focus. But whatever. After you have chosen your plant, I will just go back to my this one. Here is a plant by itself. As you can see everything written here: history, the sunlight, the moisture, the fertility. Temperature, everything. So it's uh, actually working rather nicely. And if you want to like uh, refresh it, just go back, go forward, and it will, you can see it's sun synchronizing. It's I don't know how long, how how many times per day it actually measures the sensor of the plant by itself, but more or less you can see that our result for like just go here, and here is the different statistics for your plant for per hour how, how everything has changed so so far the sunlight is not good but it's winter here so maybe that's why that it's rather high 2000 you also can see if you're using, for, using it for monitoring for more than that time there's monthly report too like average with something new before it wasn't here and uh, yeah and here is uh, you can go just like previous day and just by days go back and uh, you can go to this here too again daily report everything here nicely you can see this that's how it's nice before that you can choose the calendar day so it's good too anyway you put uh, if you push something like here you can see the current state like there there is 39 looks and you should have at least 3,000, so it's rather dark here. Same, uh, soil moisture is good, fertility good, temperature good, so far good. If you go like here, if you go like here, and my flower care, here you can see the battery level of your device, that's good too. I hope you can see, it's kind of focusing badly. Okay, now you can see the battery level. And the uh, hardware updates. Here you can see also something about your plant. You can add the plant, switch the plant here. Go to the same corner place. Some different description data about your plant, whatever else. So it's rather interesting stuff. More or less, as you can see, my plant is uh, still alive. And I've been using this for 28 days and I bought it from the shop so it usually dies rather quickly in my hands especially if you buy it from the shop for a cheap price so far I've been uh, using this application for example for fertility I can't change the sunlight naturally but I can change the fertility and um, I'm not sure if you will see it or not but here I go like um, here do, 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 do. Go to there. Monthly report. No, it's not monthly. Okay, it's, here it is. You can see it is when I bought it. For example, so finally, I went to weekly reports, and here you can see when I bought it, it had like rather low. Fertility, no, it's the daily report. Ah, that's bad. Push it, start, go back. Anyway, you can see it like uh, if it's gray, it's bad. So some days it were bad, really, the first weeks. And uh, if you go by next week, here it's a little bit better. And next week, you can see it's already getting higher. So what happened here, I actually add some banana peels and then I put some coffee leftovers here too and it actually changed the fertility rather highly. So I poured a little bit too much water and that's too 
uh, overall. You can see here the detailed report from what you have doing and how you can keep your plants alive and really nice shape. So this application is rather nice, it's free of charge and so far it's been really interesting just monitor the situation, what's going on with this plant and so on. So guys, if you hope I could give you a little insight how this application looks, how this device works and that's about it. Thanks for watching.